Hello everyone, I'm Checo Tech and today we're going to unboxing on the AOC Gaming 16G3 portable monitor. Let's do it. So let's start with the box, because the box itself, you have a picture of what is coming, the 16G3 by AOC is a before portable monitor, I believe is 16, say it here, 15.6 inch full HD portable display, 144 Hertz display with adapted sync, USB type C, micro HDMI and VESA mount as well. And on one side of the box, you got a couple more information. On the other side of the box, you got more information and the energy consumption. This come a, a E rating, so we got 10 kilowatts hour, a thousand hours, and we got another picture of included inside with a couple more specifications over here that we already talked about. Let's get inside this box, shall we? So, first of all, you get this little rubbery thingy here that if we pop it open, it's a case. So we get a case with it. It's a neoprene case, the little decals at the bottom and everything. It looks very nice. So let's put that one to one side for here. Let's put that one there. First of all, we've got a quick starter guide followed by a important information manual as well. And you've got plenty of languages in here. We got a little tiny box with what it looked like is, yeah, you get four VESA connectors over here, VESA screws over here as well. Then we got one HDMI cable over here, that one there, one USB Type C to Type C cable as well. We got the main charger, so this. It's USB type C on one end, and this got a output of 16 volts at 2.0 amps. They give you a 38 watt of charging with this little puppy. And of course, we do have a cable over here. Uh, unfortunately, mine come from the warehouse in Europe, so I got a European cable, but we can sort that one out in a minute. Followed by... <laughs> What we got here? Da, da, da. We've got a vase mount over here. So let's see where this actually goes. I'm just gonna leave it in here so I don't scratch nothing. A little bit of cardboard. That one to one side again. And I believe this is the main. Yeah, no more, no more nothing underneath. So I'm gonna remove the main box over here. Everything very Recycle friendly, so I'm starting to like that so far. And let's get you straight into the portable monitor, shall we? Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Look nice. Ah, wow. Nice. So, as we can see straight out of the box, you got some black with this dotted design that looks really, really nice, to be honest, followed by a red edge all around, you in that gaming vibe, you know, that we're talking about. And then you've got your typical sticker here in the corner from AOC that we just got to take it off. It's not as satisfying as a pill, but it works. And it looks really, really nice. And if we go for connectivity very quickly, we've got one mini HDMI connector over here. We got a USB Type C. Then we got another USB Type C with a charging logo next to it. So that is the charging port there. We got a headphone out, and if we go to the other side, we found use some speakers on the top. And if we go to the top of the device, we got a power on and off, a up and down arrow look like a OK button, and an LED status button as well. So it's very nice. So I want to see how you mount this thing, because in the box it show you that come with a stand. So I don't know if it come with a stand or not. So let's try that one out.
found it. Found it. Looking at the instructions, that's why you need to read manuals. Looking at the instructions, this panels at the back. So you can see they are separated by a large one and two small ones over here. And this one over here actually pop ups. So that one popped up. So you can see that. And now you got a monitor standing up basically. And if you want to have it as a vertical monitor as well, it works as a vertical stand. And this is made of aluminium. So it's very, very strong to be honest. It sounds very robust. And the mount that we got over here, this, it's a wall mount. So knowing now how to stand the monitor, that will be something like that over here. If we get rid of this, I'm gonna get my laptop, I'm gonna plug it in, let's play some games. So I was setting it all up right now. My laptop is over here. I got the controller over here and this is the screen that you guys are gonna see, the AOC 16G3. And the cable is a micro HDMI to full size HDMI. I believe the beginning of the video I said is a HDMI cable, assuming that will be a full to full. It's not, it's a micro to a full. But now let's plug it in. Let's say uh, being a very long time without seeing a micro USB, sorry, micro HDMI cable. So this laptop is a little bit more awkward than others because the connector's at the back. Um, and yeah, we, we, we're rolling. We are running a, a 1080p, so full HD um, is recommending me 150% of magnitude. So I'm gonna change that to 100 just to get a little bit more on the screen. That looks a little bit better for me. But if I go down, advanced display, and we go to the resolution, we got 144 hertz. And right now this monitor is running at 144 hertz. So let's put a game, shall we? So I got Formula One over here. The background, I'm not gonna lie, is Sunday today. And in my second monitor again, I got Formula One Mexico running. It's been a red flag, so everything stops for the time being. So hey, let's, let's, let's crack on, yeah? So I'm gonna try to Put this monitor, uh, something like that. So you guys don't got the, the glare of that light over here. I'm just gonna do a time trial. 2022. Um, who we go with? Let's go with. It's decisions, decisions, this is where viewers will subscribe or not. What team do I choose? Um. Uh, I'm gonna go for McLaren. You cannot go wrong with McLaren. Everyone like McLaren, and everyone like Agulo, Mexico City as well. So 144 hertz display. The AOC 16G3, as mentioned on the beginning, it's a beautiful, beautiful monitor, portable monitor. So right now, it can be used for this, for gaming, dual monitor, or as I'm doing here, playing here, and you guys are watching over there, or used to take it in the go with the case that come from. The game it looks decent, look quite sharp to be honest. Um, colors are not as vibrant as my main monitor over there, the, the laptop. So that is maybe something that can be changed in the settings. So I believe I'm gonna go into the settings and start changing a couple of parameters to see what we actually have in the menu. So as mentioned up on the top, you got four buttons. One is the power cycle on and off. And then we got a arrows and a okay. So I believe if I press that okay, that's it. We got the OSD menu here at the bottom. So we got contrast, brightness. We got cluster brightness, eco mode. And then we got gamma. DCR, DHR mode, and then if we use the arrows to move around, we got a color setup. Right now it's set up warm with a panel native color gamut. Uh, low blue mode is off, many other stuff is off. Uh, picture boost is off. OSD setup, we got timeout and your typical stuff over there. In game mode, you can turn it on and off and that will have more control in the shadows, as I can see, more game color as well, as I can see, overdrive, I lost the menu. Yeah, adaptive sync as well, and frame counter as well. And then if we go to extras, you got that input selector that is in auto, 
off timer you can set a timer if you want you got the resolution the frequency and it's on adaptive things so i'm going to play a little bit with the controllers and i will let you know what settings i actually have used to make it a little bit more one-to-one -to, -one to what i can see on the laptop and what i got over here so let's do that so i've been playing a little bit with the settings over here the osd i really wish that they use that controller all the time but you got four buttons the power cycle actually is the back button um, and then you got OK button and then you you arrows up and down to navigate through the menu. It becomes a little bit annoying just to going back and forth and everything. And you, it, yeah, I don't really like that part of the, the system in general, but uh, I personally do not like many OSD, how they are controlled for many monitors. So that's maybe just me. But I have changed a couple settings. I changed the game mode to racing mode just for the game that we're doing now. And I changed the color of the panel as well, it was in warm. I put it to a native RGB color, just, just natural. And it looked a little bit better. So I'm gonna restart the lab. Um, I'm gonna turn it back to you guys. And we can see how that looks right now. But I'm liking how everything looks right now after changing a couple modes and sorting out the color as well. It looks really, really nice. It looks really, really sharp. The details in the car are on point and I just hit the wall. Details in the car, as mentioned, are really, really nice. And um, the whole monitor itself looks super nice. So this has been a really quick what's in the box on the AOC 16G3. This incredible portable monitor that is full HD IPS panel with 144 hertz and it got plenty of connectivities and the design in general it looks really really nice and um, I mean why do you need a portable monitor let's say I got a portable monitor in the studio right now it's behind this camera and I got it hooked to the camera so I can see it myself so that's that's an option there but you also can take it for have a dual monitor in your laptop if you go to the office often you you can carry that as well with that included pouch over here and take it to the office as well as you take your laptop and just pop it open and connect it via USB-C to your laptop and you got a dual monitor screen to be a little bit more production as well or if you want to game I mean you you got a incredible as mentioned IPS panel with 144 hertz here so gaming on this thing is beautiful so thanks for watching guys i will leave the link for purchase below the like button it's about 300 us dollars for the portable aoc 16 g3 um don't forget to subscribe to the channel because remember that one to one side very quickly we got a counter here it's live and right now we are 522 522 and 70 seven percent of you guys watching this video are not even subscribed so please just subscribe like this video don't forget to leave your comments follow me everywhere but i'm Checotech. thanks for watching i will catch you on the next one adios